Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at what's coming towards you in love, what do you need to know, and where is it all headed in the near future. As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Pisces, spirits, angels, guides. What messages, guidance do you have? Okay. For Pisces regarding love, guidance, messages. You have the Pisces regarding love. So far, we have judgment, call, mirrored souls. So this could be um, some sort of connection. There's a soulmate involved, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and considerate, thoughtful, and generous. I feel like someone wants to. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Cold shoulder. Uh, I feel like someone wants to come back in. It's like they, it's almost like a peace offering I'm getting here with the considerate, thoughtful, and generous card. And with mirrored souls, this is kind of like soulmates, mutual feelings. Um, you're mirroring each other um, in this connection. So we'll see what else we get for you when we look at the tarot for Pisces. Spirits, angels, guidance, messages, guidance, please. For Pisces, what do we need to know? What do we need to know for Pisces? What do we need to know? What is coming towards Pisces in love? What do we need to know for Pisces? Okay, so we have the Two of Cups reversed. Five of Swords. Oh, yeah. Something definitely happened between you and this person. And I can see now, yep, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, Two of Wands reversed. Why they might want to give you a Peace Offerings. Eight of Cups reversed. Yep. Bottom of the deck, Page of Pentacles. I think that there was some sort of separation or breakup here. Some sort of um, difficulty that you had in your connection. Some of you feel like this person played you or wasn't commit committing to you. Uh, wasn't um, feeling like, you know, they wanted something serious with you. Or maybe they just straight out lied to you. I think that this person um, is distant from you. Or you are distanced from, distant from them. But with the Eight of Cups reversed there, I feel like they want to come back. I, I, do, I do get that sense. So this might be one of those readings where they want to come back. Maybe you're not having it. Uh, Seven of Wands there at the bottom of the deck. So let's see what this Page of Pentacles is about. A small offer, maybe asking you out on a date, asking you to meet up and talk. What's this Page of Pentacles about? What's this Page of Pentacles about? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, exactly. Let's work things out. Let's See how we can resolve these issues. What else for this Page of Pentacles? Ace of Swords, yep. And the Hermit, yeah. This is the person, I mean, it's very clear energy. There's the Page of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. Virgo energy with the Hermit again. I feel like this is someone that is, is coming back in. Maybe they weren't talking to you for some time and now they wanna talk things out. Maybe they've been blocked or withdrawn and they want to kind of come back in and discuss what's happened between you. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that wants to collaborate, work together, talk. Um, some of you, this person might have cheated or had someone else and maybe they weren't honest about that third person. Knight of Wands, reverse with the Knight of Swords. So yeah, I feel like this person caused a lot of stress for you. I also feel like they're worried because for some reason, I think you're this Queen of Pentacles and they're showing up as a Page of Pentacles. The Star Aquarius energy. I think this person's wondering, yeah, if they can make things right, there's justice, Libra energy. I just opened the deck just to see what this was. And yeah, it's like this person's worried because maybe their actions 
um, completely ruin things, basically. I think some of you may have blocked this person or stopped talking to this person, uh, removed yourself from this person's presence. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, I think they want to come back in and show themselves to you to be someone that's learned, grown, matured, has their stuff together. I feel like they have something to prove. They have something to prove to you. Queen of Wands, interesting. Um, what I see here so far is that whatever happened between you and this person, you came out on top somehow. Um, you're doing well now. Or you are a much better... It's almost like you're much better be than you were in the past. It's You've leveled up in, in some way. Or at least this person definitely feels like you have. Um, I almost get the sense that, you know, whatever happened, maybe it wasn't your fault or, you know, you didn't, I don't know. It's like you came out like the mature person in this situation. Tell me about the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Strength, Leo energy. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? The sun, the fool. Yeah, this person, <laughs> they are motivated. I mean, they want a new beginning. Yeah, there's a two of cups. This is very clear energy. It's been very clear energy from the beginning. I've just, I've sensed it. Um, I feel like this person's gonna give you something, a gift or flowers or candy or something that you enjoy. Um, something that you would consider thoughtful. And it's almost like, I don't know how much time has passed since this separation or this divide between you, but I, I'm picking up that for some of you, it's a really long time. Maybe this person's coming back a completely different person because it's been so long. Uh, maybe this person has worked on themselves because they want to show up to, as a King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy when they do return. You know, if they weren't committed to you before, they're definitely going to act like they're going to be committed to you now, or they want to match your energy. This King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Um, some of you, this person could be leaving a third party. So tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse that maybe they were married to. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reverse. The Fool, the Five of Cups, what's this? And the Two of Cups again. Um, what's this? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. I mean, this energy is just very clear. Six of Swords. They're leaving somewhere, moving towards you here. Five of Cups, regrets. Looking at the past with regret. Um, I mean, look at this energy here. It's very clear energy. Let me see if I can move these over. So you can actually, like, see what I'm looking at here. So tell me about this Two of Wands reverse. Let me move this over a little bit more. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. What's this choice about? Judgment, yeah. Judgment has shown up twice. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. Knight of Cups. This is clearly someone wanting a second chance. I don't know what's going on Pisces, but for the longest time <laughs> on my channel, um, there's been someone that has just had the the this the hots for you, pining after you, wanting you back. Um, and it's typically with a soulmate person. If you don't have someone in mind, this could be a soulmate coming towards you. But for some reason, I think that most of you already have a history with this person. And like for the, like the last four readings, they've been showing up, at least on my channel, um, where, you know, the energy is just so clear, which tells me like this has been going on for a while or someone has been thinking about this for a while. 
this is you know something that they desperately want um and I don't know, I get the sense, let me get a Kipper deck, that um, this is somebody that wants a second chance. And I think a lot of you, I don't know, either you don't know this, so then you don't know if you want to reject it or not. You know, you might just be living your life not knowing that this person feels this way about you. But I almost get the sense that there's a lot of resistance on your, on your part. So it's almost like this is like, a pointless errand you know that this person is doing or something where perhaps they're not maybe approaching it in the right way because it, it's I'm almost getting like they they should be worried about things not working out like that's a healthy fear to have that things will not work out with you there's a reason that you have where it's, it's almost like if you were to reject this person this person would not be surprised Can I get some more insight on the energies in this connection, spirit? Coffin. Death. Kind of the symbol of the death card of the tarot. Endings. Cycles, endings. Changes. Final, finalities. Main male. And then the message card at the bottom of the deck. I think they want to talk about what happened. They want to talk about what ended. If things didn't, you know, end with you recently, maybe they want to talk about an ending that's recently happening for them. But, I mean, this person is, is clear as day what they want. They want to come forward. They want to talk things out. They want to express themselves. Maybe apologize to you. Um, talk about what happened. Work on things together. Ace of Wands, The Fool, Have a New Beginning. You know, Knight of Pentacles is here. Um, Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. I mean, the energy is very clear. So let's see where is all of this headed. Where is all of this headed for Pisces and this other person's spirit? Where is all of this headed in the near future? Where is all of this headed in the near future? Or Pisces and this other person. Page of Swords reverse. Where is this all? Of, where is all of this headed in the near future? King of Cups reverse. Where is all of this headed in the near future? Eight of Pentacles. Six of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this has a lot to do with something that has passed. Like, like the past is relevant here. You've had, you have a past with this person is kind of what I want to say. Now the Page of Swords reverse, King of Cups reverse, I almost get the sense that you don't, do, maybe you, you don't pick up this person's call or they don't actually deliver this message for, for whatever reason. Maybe the message is blocked or delayed. Maybe they don't have access to you and so it's hard to send a message. Why is the Page of Swords reverse? Why is the Page of Swords reverse? Why is the Page of Swords reverse? Two of Swords. Okay, so maybe they're undecided. Or, again, this could be that you're blocking this person from having access to you. Tell me about the King of Cups reverse. Nine of Wands. You don't trust this person because this person hurt you. I mean, it's very simple. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Death, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Again, same energy. Someone wanting to talk and balance things out. Give you something with this information. Um, give you the truth or give you something tangible while talking to you. I think they want to talk about what happened, which I feel is an ending. Once, once again, coming back up, Death Card, Coffin, with the Eight of Pentacles. Let's work things out. Let's talk about this ending. Or um, things have really changed in my life and now I want to work things out with you. You know, Take it as it resonates, but it's, it's very similar themes. Very similar themes that are showing up here. The difficulty, I think, is more with you because of the history you have with this person. You might have doubts about this person's intentions. You might be um, kind of wary and distant, guarded, 
um, defensive, you know, because you've been through a lot. And so it's not so easy for you to just open back up and just talk to this person, you know, like nothing happened. What do we need to know about this person's energies? I'm going to take this to the extended and um, we're going to look at this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards you and this connection, their intentions, next actions. We'll see what comes up in the extended. The extended is linked in the description box if you want to get that extra insight into your person. Spirit, tell us about this person's energies towards Pisces. Tell us about this person's energies towards Pisces. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Pisces? Our connection is divinely guided. And the bottom of the deck, I pretend that everything is okay, but inside I am hurting. Behind that, we have I have learned from my mistakes. So Pisces, again, I feel like this is a soulmate or a soulmate type of connection. And if you don't feel that way, that's fine. This person definitely feels that way. <laughs> they definitely feel like your connection is special, divinely guided, like you are their soulmate. Um, mirrored souls showed up. Six of cups is reversed here. Two of cups, I believe, showed up over here. Yeah. I mean, to them, you are their partner. You are the one they want this new beginning with. And make no mistake, they are motivated. I mean, look at this energy here. We have the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. You know, Page of Pentacles showed up. This is definitely somebody motivated. I mean, and I mean, it looks to me that their motivations are very clear. Um, communication is very important here to them. So we'll see in the extended if this is seriously what they are going to be um, acting towards because make no mistake a lot of times these readings tell us what someone's thinking what someone is planning right but thinking and acting are two different things intention and action are two different things you can have all of the intention in the world to speak to someone but if you don't actually pick up the phone it's never going to happen and so the tarot can only tell you kind of the potential, the possibilities, the subconscious, what someone's secretly thinking or feeling at the time or what someone's subconsciously dealing with at the time. But it's up to us to make a lot of this happen. So I really want to take a look at this person's intentions slash actions towards you because um, by all intent, I mean, what I see here on in the tarot is that that's a very big possibility because it just, just showed up so often. Um, so we will take a look at that in the extended, but I'll leave this reading here, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already so that you can see more videos from me in the near future. Uh, don't forget to check out the description box for information on my personal readings, my Oracle decks.